So guys, the critical locations, they're shown on the gaffs and they're very, very important because if you're crossing the ranges, you need um, a point, a lower point to get across the ranges if there's cloud, you know, just above the range level, which there often is. Now, I'm not telling you to do like a scud run through there, you know, if the cloud's really, really low, but uh, these are the critical locations, which means if there's cloud on the ground or cloud below minima at these locations, that basically means nowhere along the ranges are you going to be able to find a safe crossing um, based on the forecast. I mean, of course, you could fly there and by chance you might find a safe crossing somewhere. There might be a patch where there's no cloud. But generally speaking, uh, it's not going to be your chances of crossing the ranges at all or safely will not be good if these critical locations have low level cloud. So it's very important that you look at those. Now, there's a really cool thing you can do here is you can jump into this is just Google Maps and then you click on there and go satellite. And then you come over here and you click on 2D, 3D. Now notice that if you use the control button, you can actually, um, you know, change the angles. And so you can get a good look at the topography of the ground at these locations. And not only that, but you can zoom in and get a good look at the landmarks and things to be able to find your way, uh, you know, through there. So, um, you know, before before you ever leave home. And you can do that with the, you know, the Bankstown approach and all those types of things. So it's really cool. You can like just zoom in and out using the wheel on your mouse, okay, to get a good look at it. You can actually hop right down on the road level if you want. Um, if you keep clicking enough, you'll end up actually on the, on, on the road and you can pin up the road just like Google Street View. But as you can see there, look, it's your low point through the mountains. This is Mararundi just here. This is, it's actually called um, some other gap. Uh, what is it? Ard Glen or Norwegian Gap or something like that. But its nickname is Mar Mararundi Gap because the area or the little town or precinct of Mararundi is just there. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps. These are uh, these critical locations. It's very important if you have nav flights where you're planning to cross ranges that you look at those. And when you look at the gaff, You'll notice that there are, I'll just bring it up. So here's the Victorian uh, critical location there, just above Melbourne. So most of the Melbourne traffic heading north that needs to cross the ranges is going to cross there. And then if you look at the three critical locations for New South Wales, they're there, there, and there. And that's basically so that most of the, you know, east coast, uh, as the population expands out of Sydney, there's the three main crossing points that they're going to have to use if they're a lower cloud. And so what they're effectively saying, look, if that point, that point, and that point are blocked or low cloud or cloud on the ground, chances are you're not going to get across the ranges anywhere there. You're probably going to have to go way up here and through there or down here and through there, or you just, the safe option is you just cancel your flight. But become very familiar with checking those on the gaffs. They're located just down here. And see it says cloud on the ground, cloud on the ground. This one here has got... Uh, cloud at 6,000 feet, okay, so Marirund that's Marirundi Gap there today. Now here's the other one, which is BWL, which is located at Bowel, and it's much harder to see because the difference in height of the topography is not as great there, but you can sort of see it coming down here, you know, these, these ranges here, and there's the gap there, okay, um, the low point through the mountains for Bowel, and then here's Mount Victoria, in the Blue Mountains, uh, west of Sydney, near Blackheath, and uh, there's Lithgow. Now, I'm not familiar with where the low patch is there, and and zooming in and having a look, you know, I can see these. If you zoom at certain spots, you, you know, you can see these valleys here. There's um, or you know ridges and valleys as you pan around, but I'm not familiar with that area, so I don't want to really pass comment on that. You'd need to talk to an instructor that's familiar with flying through that area. So then here's Melbourne and here's Kilmore or uh, it is a KMG on the, uh, it's known as KMG, the, the point at Kilmore Gap or Kilmore. So just here there's a little gap. Now I've pinned right in and it's much harder to see. So when you go to the 3D version and then you um, go right down, it, it's, you know, the variation in the terrain isn't massive. But you'd probably be best, you know, to talk to a 
a uh, instructor from that area about exactly where that point is and where you go through there. Generally um, speaking, the roads are going to cross one of the lower points. Not always, but generally. So it could actually be there. And there's another big road that goes around that side of this higher ground just here. Uh, but I suspect it might be through this area here. But again, don't rely on me. Talk to your local instructors in those areas. But the significance of these uh, these critical locations is that that is your safe erst crossing point in general. And if that area is blocked, chances are you won't get by in the other locations around it. So always check out uh, what the cloud level is at those critical locations before you intend to, to leave and cross the ranges.